Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So it, just in case you're wondering why is this girl dressed the same and why does she have the same background and all that stuff, I'm filming two videos today so that's why and I can't bother to get changed. But anyways, today's going to be like a different kind of video, definitely a first and for some reason I got a lot of requests and a lot of messages to compare my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation to the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I don't know why, why there's like a similarity between the two, but do you know what? Because I got so many questions, I thought let me just do an actual video where I do half-half. So I've already done my makeup, which is uh, yesterday's video, if you guys want to go check that out. I will link it in the info box for you guys, but we'll just jump straight into it. First thing I'm going to do is apply some of my Glam Glow Moisturiser. This is the Glow Starter in Nude Glow. This is actually very very moisturizing and it does give like a really nice kind of like glow and it smells so nice I'm just really trying to get this moisturizer into my skin I'm also going to put some on my shoulder can you see the difference so pretty Um, I'm also going to apply some of my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. I love this. I'm just going to put one pump and just concentrate this from the center. So I have my Pro Filter Foundation right here and I have my NYX Total Control Drop Foundation right here. The shade is quite similar I would say. I have Caramel in the NYX Foundation and 330 in the Fenty Beauty foundation. I've just applied a bit of both, kind of for my thumbnail, you know. But I'm just gonna spread the two. So NYX is a bit darker, but this will get darker, so I'm gonna quickly blend my NYX one with my Beauty Blender. I really like my NYX one with my Beauty Blender. Look at that. Use my brush for my Fenty Beauty one does dry quite quick so you have to work quickly with it you need to work quite quick whilst with the next one you can work you can kind of take your time with it another difference the Fenty Beauty one has a really nice scent I really need to get rid of my moustache I feel like it grows so quick I feel like this setting is really washing me out also the next one is much more much more droopy, like liquidy and thin, much thinner, like you, well, you can barely feel the um, the next one when you apply it, like when you feel it, you can barely feel it, it's like water almost, very li like thin, like a thin liquid. Sorry if there's noise, like my house is literally alive, it just make it has its own mind. I would say the colour, once this oxidised, very similar. Okay, so that's the two done. Here's just a close-up of the two. I've just dimmed down the darkness so you, you can have another look at this. They are both a very similar colour. Basically, like on my nose, I see no dryness here, but I see a bit of cracking here uh, with the Fenty Beauty one. Um, but other than that, I don't see any any relative like difference they're both very similar I feel like they're both quite matte maybe there's a tad bit more glow on this side with the Fenty one compared to the NYX but other than that they are very similar so the differences so far is texture NYX is much thinner like a liquid thin kind of consistency NYX you can take your time with it you can't really build up upon the Fenty Beauty foundation because it does kind of separate once you start to build up on it but you need to really buff in buff it in but with the NYX you can build up as much as you want you do get 13 mil of the NYX foundation and 32 mil of the Fenty Beauty foundation but you need much less product from the NYX one so they kind of come to the same I've had this for ages and I use it a lot those are the differences so far and the Fenty Beauty one is a tad bit more drying and the NYX one is less drying. So I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished the rest of my makeup guys and everything seemed 
everything seemed to apply very well on both sides they are actually quite similar in terms of finish color like it looks like I've worn one foundation so I thought there would be some type of difference but I really don't see one at all like not at all so I'm gonna wear this all day it's now 1323 so I'll try and wear this till the end of the evening and I will check in then and see how these two stayed up and we can compare them both yeah can you look what side looks better give me your opinion what am I looking at? the skin do that do the other side that side this side I was gonna say the same thing <laughs> Your weird laugh is rubbing on me. Alright guys, I'm back. It's now 8.29pm. I've had this foundation for around 8 hours, I think, which is normally the typical amount of time I usually keep my makeup on. But, um, as you can tell, I asked my sister which side looked better and she said this side, which I was actually going to say the same thing. Uh, definitely, like, the Fenty Beauty side looks much better, like, softer. Why would you say this side's better? I don't know she's better. Yeah, it just looks softer, there's no smile line on this side, whilst this side I have a humongous one. Even though I still like this foundation, I feel like my Fenty Beauty with the primer, it just looks so soft, dewy, like skin. I mean, this side looks good, but this side just looks more softer and blended, you know? Um, and it's crazy on the smile lines though. Can you guys see? Normally, like, my swan lines go all the way up there. And with the Fenty Beauty one, it's just stayed right there. But can you see? Look, soft. And it's like you see, like, my pores and stuff. Which wish like, this side's all filled in. With this little experiment that we've done, I definitely would say the Fenty Beauty foundation is better. It gives a softer finish. Um, they are very similar, but in terms of smile lines, Fenty Beauty one. Um... I do, although, have a bit of dryness on the Fenty Beauty side on my nose, but the NYX one doesn't have any dryness. Um, but yeah, I don't want to repeat everything I said in the beginning, but by the end of the day, I've really been able to see that the Fenty Beauty holds up much better. Um, and some, like my NYX one's kind of fading here, whilst Fenty Beauty is right on like glued to my face. So I'm really, really happy about that. The only place where it's both rubbed out is on my nose where I touch the most. But even like on my moustache area, it's all smoother, guys. I do hope you guys found this video helpful and I had a ton of fun doing it for you guys. And if there's other foundations you would like me to compare in the future, let me know. But I'm very happy with the result. I like both, but my Fenty Beauty is going to become one of my favourites. I feel like once the dryness on my nose goes away, my dog's eating, I'm sorry about the noise. But once my dryness goes away on my nose, I feel like this foundation will just be perfect for me. And the colour is amazing. They are very similar, but they have a few differences, but very comparable, I would say. Um, I do have separate reviews on both of these foundations. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link them in the info box. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!